Because of the flooding on the Treasure Coast, the Army Corps of Engineers has for now stopped all discharges from Lake Okeechobee into the St. Lucie Estuary. This despite the fact that Lake Okeechobee right now is over 16 and a half feet, the water level, and it has not been that high since 2005. A concern and a growing one. News Channel 5's Alex Hagan is live along the lake to explain what may happen to that dike protecting communities, or at least the concerns therein. Alex. Well, Michael, the Corps is inspecting this dike you see here behind me two, maybe three times a week. But those levels, as you said, they continue to rise. Just take a look. We're at Torrey Island Campground in Belglade. You can clearly see the levels continuing to rise. Now, if those levels reach 17, maybe 18 feet, the Corps is going to start doing daily inspections. And that's when we start to see the issue of seepage. It may seem like just a wet, soggy day out in the glades. It's a threat to the entire area. But Matilda Edwards knows in the thick of hurricane season, it's a bad sign. There's something else starting up and that we are going to have to evacuate. She and thousands of others know more rain is not good for Lake Okeechobee. More information in terms of where we stand with reference to the dike. Right now, the lake is approaching 17 feet and rising quickly. After the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers stopped Lake Okeechobee discharges east because of flooding concerns. If levels reach 17 and a half to 18 feet, the Corps says that puts a lot of pressure on that Herbert Hoover dike. That is correct. Protecting people like Matilda. Opening here, which is where the pump station is. The situation brings former Pahokee Mayor J.P. Sasser back to 2005 after Hurricane Wilma when levels were higher than 17 feet. Dyke was almost breached right down there where those rocks are. He's worried a dangerous situation is brewing now. Lake level gets up high. The water starts percolating through the base of the dike. And as it percolates through, it carries more and more material with it. And if that's the case, problem with a breach. people like Matilda may leave town. We know that we are at risk here. Now, of course, the Corps monitoring this situation. They do have a plan, all new at 6. We'll talk about that plan, the Corps' plan, should these levels out here reach an alarming point. Reporting live in Belgrade, Alex Hagan, WPTV News Channel 5.